Hello, welcome back to Vintage Fridays, where we look at vintage tech on a Friday. Today's vintage tech, we've got ourselves a Nokia, check this out, a Nokia N70 from around about 2006. Now this would have been a duck's guts back in the day because it's got a front camera as well as a back camera and you could have video calls on this. I never did have video calls on this because it was probably poor quality and it would have cost too much back in 2006 to have a video call. There was no Wi-Fi belt on the phones, or well, if they were, it was too expensive to have a phone with a Wi-Fi on there. I'm not sure if the iPhone was out in 2006, might have been 2007 the iPhone came out. But this is the Nokia N70. You've got your keypad here, and all your functions there for your numbers. Side here, you've got nothing. The bottom here, you've got a Nokia car connector and the Nokia um, power pack connector to charge up the battery and I'm not sure if that's a standard Nokia or the newer thin type it might be the newer thin type on the old Nokia charger here we've got a button there I'll explain what that does in a minute and we've got ourselves the place for the memory card and the memory card is a reduced size I believe MMC card there was MMC multimedia card there was reduced size MMC and you placed it inside the slot there now with the reduced size card you had an adapter that fitted into the PC and I used to plug one into a card reader. I remember many, many times the end coming off it. And uh, yeah, having to dig out of the card reader. On the top here, you got a your speaker. And you've also got your power button there. At the back here, you've got Nokia. If we slide it down, we've got ourselves a 2 megapixel camera. There we go. None of VGA rubbish on the other phone. And this one's even got a flash on it as well. And a battery in this phone. Get the back off. is a standard Nokia battery and that is a BL5C. Now it takes the same battery as one of my radios. So this battery goes I want to use a smartphone and I can use it on, you take the one out of the radio. And here we have the back of the phone, that's where you put your SIM card. Now what I've been using to charge the batteries up is this here. Now this device here allows you to connect Different batteries, so it's like it's Nokia battery. So let's connect it up, and then you can adjust here for the width of the. There we go, and then plug it into the mains. And that charges the battery up, and there's also a USB port on the front here. So shall we see if this smartphone works? Let's put that back on, and we'll fire it up and see what we get. We've got a light on the screen. Will we get any power to the phone? We've got the word Nokia. Will we get anything booting on the phone? Hopefully we do. Come on, you can do it. Not sure what I paid for this phone. I think I got it second hand off a friend of mine. Um, and I think I had it unlocked as well, if I remember rightly. Can't remember where we got it unlocked. Probably got there off the market stall or something. Can you boot? Are you going to do it? Come on. There we go, a nice polyphonic ringtone and a Nokia handshake. Oh, it was on the Orange Network. Remember them? Oh, what is it now? It's the DE. And on the main screen here, the picture is of my Cobra 29 Classic. And you've got the Bluetooth at the top here. You've got the camera. And you've also got the sidebar. Now the sidebar at the top here. If we go down. You've got contacts. Where are we? Let's come on the camera. What else we got? You've got your call history, you've got your text messaging, your um, calendar, your profiles, and you've got Orange World and stuff. That was to go on the internet because it was WAP back in the day. And you could go like Google and stuff like that. I don't think Google's out, was it then? You can go to things like, um, you can go to things like, uh, I don't know, Mopilot Forum and things like that. And you can look at the latest news on the WAP. I think they used to read like the BBC news on the WAP and stuff like that. And let's press the menu button there. So we've got in the menu. Oh, this is slow. We've got ourselves uh, log, contacts, tools, web. You can get the internet. Let's go to web. They are web.otalk.co.uk. Oh, look. I've been on the Citizens Band Forum. <laughs> Check that out. 
reading out on my phone. Camera, let's see what the camera's like. So we're gonna pull the flap down at the back. And it's saying memory card is not accessible because there's no memory card in there. Phone memory will be used instead. And there we go. We got ourselves the back camera there. They're there, and we're gonna do use second camera. And there you go, you can see me out on the old camera there options. Shooting mode, let's go use main camera. If you go options, you can activate self timer and so on. But what we want to hear, if I go down to the gallery, nope. I want to go to, where are we? It's in here somewhere. I want to get the profiles up. Tools, it's in tools. The out profiles. There we go. Just looking for that. General, personalized, and this took MP3 ringtones. This also took um, ACC and flat ringtones and so on. So the video call tone be ring ring. Let's go down. We want to hear these all sound clips I've done. So there's a ring ring. But we do want to hear. They are classic Nokia tone, and I think it's called I don't know. one of the ringtones on here. Connecting people was actually Morse code for connecting people. Let's go back now. What we else got? What else we got on here? You've got your themes and all that sort of stuff in there. It's actually got a real player. So I went into um, if we've got the media, have we? Gallery. Images and video, links, sound clips. This did have actually a real player in there. Let's go to Office, see what's in Office. Notes to do this, calendar, voice recorder. My own. There we go, you've got a load of games. So let's go to, oh, Nokia Snake, yeah. Let's play some th Nokia Snake. I think this one's in 3D. Check it out, look at this. It's in 3D, wow, look at this. Check that out. 3D snake. Oh, zero energy. Let's go back to the main screen and we'll see what else we've got you got in the menus. JJ Soft doesn't got any data in there. Tools. Clock. File manager. Because these all had file, and this here was the manager to remove the software. So you had your applications, and you say you wanted to remove this one here, you could just press options, and you could do remove. If you wanted to remove it, so you removed stuff, and you also had the file manager, which you can browse the files. You also browse the files on the memory card by pushing, going over there, and it says no memory card inserted. And you've got, let's have a look at about. Yes, yeah, the Series 60, 2005 Nokia. And Java powered as well. Look, check that out. So let's go up. Can we see that? Series 60, and it's a Java powered Nokia telephone. That was a quick look. Well, eight minutes long. Looking at a Nokia N70. Check it out. We got ourselves a vintage Nokia N70 for Vintage Fridays. If you found it some use, not to do. If you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a comment, like, and subscribe, and so on. You ever use one of these phones back in the day? If so, post it in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching Vintage Fridays. I'll see you in the next video. 7-3 for now.